John Ray here with Mangled Fly. Just wanted to say thank you for clicking on this video and give you a little background on what we're gonna cover. Uh, the first thing is we have a new toy and it's uh, this little drone. And of course I hadn't practiced much and this is our first flight. So please forgive me with a little bit of shaky footage, but we promise to get better and we're gonna shoot some more videos this summer that we look forward to sharing with you guys. Uh, this video is going to show you the 150 trees that they dropped on the upper Manistee just below Yellow Trees. We floated from Yellow Trees to Kings and we filmed pretty much the whole tree drop area. So you'll see uh, we took Ed's boat and we floated down the river and we kind of broke it down and you guys can see what's in front of you. One of the coolest things that we saw already happening is the organic silt backing up right behind the trees that they dropped in, which is gonna create great hex habitat and allow the grasses that grow on the upper Manistee to fill in the riverbank and narrow the channel, which will then bring us deeper water and colder water. As if you guys have noticed over the last couple of years, the Manistee has gotten real flat and a lot of the structure underneath has been covered by sand. We're already seeing sections of the river getting deeper. Uh, this year, definitely be careful when you're hex fishing is you could float your hat, but this is all positive is it's going to give us deeper water, more structure, and hopefully better fishing. So enjoy this little video. Thank you for turning in. Please add some comments for us. Any questions that you have, we'll get back to them as soon as possible and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. So coming up to our first area, we have trees on the right and on the left. Well, you should see like a depth change coming off this tree tip here to the middle. Well, like these little bays were turning black on the bottom back in here. This black bottom is organic silt. You can see the grasses are really going to grow here, narrowing the channel. This inside bend is really going to start to fill up, creating great habitat for hexes and other muck bugs. Deepening the right side looking upstream, the left side going downstream. Manistee River really lacks center structure, so this tree drop here is really going to provide great cover and then narrowing the river channel. You can already see a lot of the wood is starting to expose itself on the river bottom. Check out this little inside tree. That trench is going to develop. This is probably one of my favorite spots on the river bend on the left side all that black organic silt great habitat for hex again and then look out that deep trench that's going to be a dry fly hot spot This is Rogers Landing. This area still needs a lot of improvement. The trees are starting to do a little bit of work here, but this sand flat still needs a lot of attention. So wide and flat. Hopefully these trees will still start to fill in this inside and the water can start pushing that sand elsewhere. <laughs> 